Welcome everyone to The Honest Review. It's been requested by a lot of you guys who tune into our monitor reviews that we take a look at portable monitors and give you guys our honest thoughts and opinions. Now the portable monitors that I'm gonna be talking about specifically today pretty much range from about 150 to 200 bucks. They're all 15 and a half inches, 1080p, 60 FPS, and they are IPS panels. For those of you who don't know the difference between TN, IPS, and VA panels, you can check out this video right here. So the monitor we have in house is made by Apple. Alzai retails for about 185 bucks and I'm not going to be critiquing these portable monitors strictly on gaming performance because they can be used for so many different things. You can use this with your phone, your laptop, your PC, your PlayStation, your Xbox, your Nintendo Switch. You can make this work with almost anything that is shooting video signal via an adapter. So this particular monitor is designed specifically to be really, really thin and sleek and clean and lightweight. It weighs like less than a pound and a half. As for everything in the box, you get the monitor itself. You have the protective monitor carrying case, which also doubles as a stand screen protector. And then for cables, we have a standard USB to USB-C, a USB-C to USB-C, and then an HDMI to mini HDMI. Now these devices are pretty simple and plug and play, but just for clarity's sake, we have our mini HDMI, then our USB Type-C, which is for your video or media, and then you have a charging port for USB Type-C. And then on the opposite side, we have our power button at the top, then our menu navigator, and then our 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones. And like I was telling you guys, the case does double as a stand and it works pretty well. You only have a couple different tilt options, but as far as functionality and ease of use, it definitely hits the spot. So first off, I'm gonna cover some of the cons to these portable monitors. Number one being brightness. This is not gonna be as bright as what you're used to seeing from like a mainstream monitor display or a television, phone, tablet, etc. It still gets really bright, but it's just not as bright as you're probably used to. The second con that I do have to consider would have to be the price point. I understand that there are a bunch of these, whether or not it's like 150 bucks to 200 bucks, that all pretty much have similar specs. 1080p, 60 FPS, IPS panel, portable, lightweight, small, but still a decent enough size of a display. I get it, this is a convenience item. But for me, for 185 bucks, even if it was 150 bucks, this is just a really, really versatile, lightweight, laptop display. Another con to this device would be that it doesn't save all your settings. So every time I've had to use it, I've had to kick the brightness all the way back up. And then if there's other features that you like and use, you're gonna have to re-enable or change them every time that you use it. Final con really isn't so much of a con, it's just kind of a nuisance while using this in certain situations. When you're using this with a phone or any video signal that doesn't give this enough power, you're gonna have to plug in that external power. It's very portable, thin, lightweight. I also like that this is an IPS panel, which means it's much more color accurate. So if I'm plugging this into my laptop and I need an extra display and I'm doing some type of video editing or photo editing, it will work perfect. Maybe you're in business and you have to travel or you're a student, etc., and you need that extra display, whether or not you're going to a different class or a business meeting, or you're in an airport or a Starbucks, wherever you are, you can just flip this thing out. It'll probably fit in your laptop case and boom, one plug and you've got an extra display ready to go. It's got built-in speakers, you got your 3.5 millimeter jack here on the side, and it doesn't matter if I'm a trucker out on the road or in a hotel or an Airbnb that doesn't have a TV or out camping with my family, girlfriend, children, etc. I can use this for whatever I want to do. Watch shows, TVs, gaming. People using a Nintendo Switch could just shoot their video over to this and then they've got a large, clean, clear, crisp image that they're playing with and it could give them an advantage in the games that they love to play. As far as phone use goes, the most common use for this is going to be streaming movies, shows, Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. Just shoot that over and you got a full-blown display to enjoy your videos. As far as your PC and laptop use, you could use this for whatever you want. Doesn't matter if I'm video editing, graphic design, Photoshop, PowerPoint display at a meeting, you could do whatever you want with it. Now, when we start to look at this in the realm of gaming, because this is a gaming tech channel, obviously this is not geared towards being a top tier portable gaming monitor. But that does not mean that this monitor would not work for someone who has a PlayStation or an Xbox and they work on the road and they just need a portable monitor to game on. This would serve that purpose easily. So in conclusion, when I look at these portable monitors, I am in no way expecting them to be the best at anything because they're not designed for that. These are meant to be really well-rounded, versatile, functional, easy to use portable displays. And it does just that. It is 
a little bit pricey. I get that it's a luxury item. It's convenience. You don't necessarily need it, but once you have it, you can use it for whatever you want. Now there are other portable monitors in this price range that have different features. So you got to look around and see what's right for you. Like I found one that has best amounts in the back. So I could put it on a monitor arm and use it as a chat window so I could read my chat while streaming. So if there's any in-depth specs or specifics for this monitor that I didn't cover in this video, I will have it linked below. I do hope you all enjoyed this no-nonsense and OBS review of the Alzai portable monitor and our talk on portable monitors in general and what they're good for. If you did, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the content. It is greatly appreciated. Notification squad, you guys freaking rock. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Peace.